Hi, my name is Lauren Boyle of Silverbrook Studios and welcome to my studio. Today I wanted to introduce myself and share a little bit more about my process so that you can get to know me a little bit better. I am a self-taught metalsmith and I'm located uh, just outside of DC in Northern Virginia and I work in uh, my garage and this is my little corner of the garage where all of my jewelry gets made. I hand fabricate my jewelry which means that it starts out everything starts out as sheet and wire and sometimes I like to add in stones and then it turns into a beautiful piece of jewelry. So I am very much inspired by nature and the plant life that surrounds me. And being in nature brings me peace and I want my jewelry to be a physical object that reminds the wearer of the peace that they felt when they were in nature. So making my fern pieces starts out with me taking a walk in the woods that surround my neighborhood. And once there, I will pick ferns that I think will translate well into jewelry. So then I will press the ferns and then you'll get pieces that look like this. These are some of the ones that I've pressed. There's another one. And another one. And then after I've pressed the ferns, I will make photocopies of them. These are some of the photocopies that I've made of some ferns that I've pressed. Different sizes different shapes and then once I have the photocopy I will cut it up and on my copier I can enlarge it I can make it smaller whatever I think will work well for the piece that I'm trying to make and then for my fern dangle earrings I used this fern and then I cut it up and created a template up here. I have three different sizes that they come in. I'm wearing the largest size, which is this one. And I will use this as my template and I'll just copy it over and over for as many times as I need to make the earrings. And then I'll cut out the template out of the sheet of paper and paste it on the silver and then I will saw out the shape of the fern from the silver. And then from there, I'll solder, I'll do some forming and some finishing work. And then you'll have a pair of earrings. Also down below is um, some larger ferns. And I do the same process where I, you know, saw out the shape and I made this cuff using these ferns down here. So that same process was used to make this necklace with this cuff or this fern piece right here. And so that's a little bit about my process. I hope this helped you to get to know me better and if you'd like to check out more about my jewelry, you can visit my website at silverbrookstudios, with an S at the end, dot com. Or you can check out my Instagram page where I share more behind the scenes, more process shots, um, in process work, as well as finished um, work. Um, I'm at Silverbrook Studios there on Instagram as well as on Facebook if that's more your style 
at Silverbrook Studios on Facebook as well. So I hope this was informative for you and thanks for joining me. Bye.